Good morning friends, it is Monday, we're in Barcelona and we're on our way to La Sagrada Familia. We are running a smidge late, we tried getting an Uber, it didn't really work out, I said it was like a 20 minute wait. Um, so we just walked, we got a taxi and now we're on our way to La Sagrada Familia. Come on. Guys, one thing that always gets me about all of these old school architectures is the detail. I have the, the, the Roman taking the baby. Look over there, preaching to the young baby. Is that supposed to be baby Jesus? Is that, is that the story of the nativity? Oh my gosh. And those are like what, the cherubs, the angels of the heavenly host. That is beautiful. This is absolutely insane. The detail. I don't even think we can build things like this anymore nowadays. Like this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. See you guys, I thought, see, I thought I was wrong because I saw this and I did, I, but then I realized this was on purpose. I thought I was just wrong, but it's actually on purpose. Okay. Ah! <laughs> guys, nah, nah, nah. What about this Dima Circle, guys? Mm-mm. Okay, so we're at Five Guys. It feels kind of 
kind of like what BGR, what BGR wants to be is Five Guys. Um, this burger is huge, these fries portions are huge. I will review and let you know. So this is the burger that I got. You basically, I picked a bacon cheeseburger and then you can put whatever you want on it. And I pretty much almost put everything on it. So I'll show you my burger and yeah, I'll review after it. So this is my big ass burger. Look two patties. That's crazy. This is my burger. I put some pickles. It has cheese. It has cheese sauce. It has some mayo. It has some barbecue sauce. It has no some hot sauce. It has some pickles. It has a tomato. It has some mushrooms. I I think I'm wrong. I think I'm actually wrong. There's too much going on here. Here are the fries. Um, but most of the fries are actually fallen out in the bag and then I picked up some mayo and I got some Fanta I'm gonna drink all the Fanta I can because it's gonna be different back in SA so yeah a few inches later that was so good let's get the meal per I wanna go lie down guys that burger was massive the fries the drink I can go fill up even love to see it I don't even I don't even know what to say <laughs> I hate feeling actually like it, guys. Uh, it was very good. It was expensive as hell. It was like 14 euros, but it was worth the price. Like, I am stuffed. I'm tired. But we still are going to go to Parkwell. And I need to get my energy up because I'm going to strut through the streets of Barcelona like the Chino Girls. This is a 13 year dream coming into fruition. So I need to be up and ready for it. I'm just glad I didn't get a milkshake. Before I said their milkshakes bang, but if I had a milkshake, it's over for me. That's the okay. game. It's done. It's done. Do you want to comment? Nope. <laughs> Fair enough. Good stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> 10 out of 10. It really would have. It really would have. But it's. I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah, because I actually barely remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Me neither. No, but we can look it up for it. I, we should have actually watched. Say hi to your fart. Hello. We should have actually watched Cheetah Girls before we came here because I actually don't remember where exactly I'm supposed to be going. I just know I'm in the place where they shot Cheetah Girls. So that's enough for me. And I'm gonna. Where did I'll we take it. Guys, I feel, I feel like I have a. What? Who's. Who's. Who is Raven? Which one is that one? Galeria. She's Galeria. I feel like I. Galeria. I feel like Adelia was always, you know. Aqua was the white girl. Oh, here's the skinny black No, Aquafina black was. Aqua. No, not Aquafina. <laughs> the skinny black lisp. I thought she was um, or something. Aquanetta. Is that her? Girl, what were the cheetah girl's names? I don't know. Yo, so yeah, we really didn't do our homework. <laughs> we actually didn't even do the, the required reading. Oksana, oh, I'm here, so that's all that matters. Guys, I see a lot of audacious things, hey? A lot of audacious things. close we're getting close okay so at the moment we're just walking around um, it's a bit of a botanical garden situation it kind of gives Sun City um, it's giving that kind of vibe a bit of like a zoo lake um, don't ask why my American my accent is American I've decided that if I'm gonna be a super tourist and try seeing the cheetah girls strut in the middle of this park it's better if I'm doing cringe touristy things as an American anyways so we have had to re-watch the video just to make sure we're in the right place. We think we have identified some of the key markers and that may be where exactly we need to go. This lighting is so much better. I should have been filming this way the whole time. So yeah, we need to go over here. And we'll figure it out, but this is really cute. Like this is like a little deck overlooking Barcelona. It's really nice. Update. 
we found it. We're here. Yes. These steps right here. That is, I think it's like the bridge of the song. Yeah. When you feel it, it's your chance to shine. Strut like you mean it. Come on, come on, come on, yeah. And then, uh, what is it? Angel is busy. Like, exactly, exactly. So, when uh, everyone has moved through a little bit, when there's a little bit of space. Yeah, some breathing room. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do. I don't know what. Like, you have to do a step. I have, have to, to do a step, step like a sure. skip, a twirl, through, a twirl. A twirl for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how we wish! I so wish. Anyways, um, something of that nature do you get. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cute. And it's then, cute. and it's a beautiful area. And then after that, I feel like I'll have no more goals in this life. Like this is like a childhood goal that I've just like. Not that it's done, what else am I living this for? She just came from the Amalfi Coast and she's done. She's on her way to Ibiza. She's saying she has no more goals. Fair to enough. Reach. Fair enough. Stop Fair it. enough. There's still that. Stop it. <laughs> I don't think you guys can see though. They have mosaiced the entire roof of this building. This is the. Like, even looking at everything here with all of these mosaics and the tiles and the roofs and stuff, this is the kind of things that you can only achieve with slave labor. Dark intricacy. No one who made this earned a living wage. You cannot. This was not some. These people didn't have rights. You can't do this type of architecture while people are having labor laws. It's insane. What? <laughs> when you feel it, it's your chance to shine. In the words of Jill Scott, let's take a long walk around the park after dark. But truth be told, my feet are so sore, I feel like they are swollen. We've been walking for 42 minutes. Don't make me sick. We have been walking for 42 minutes. We were walking so much and at a pace, my phone actually said, my watch actually said, hey, do you want to log this as a workout? Like, do you want to actually get some vitality points for and this? We're and we're in sandals. Like, sandals literally, with no support. Basically a flip-flop. We are basically wearing a flip-flop and my feet are not having it. I will be paying for my sins in Ibiza. I will be paying in Afro Nation where we are just walking around. Um, but we're almost at the hotel, almost having dinner, so we can rest a bit, and then, yeah. We made it. It is actually incredibly overcast today. It's been relatively cool today, but it's still pretty hot. Now that we're on the rooftop, the clouds are out. It's giving a bit of wind. It's gonna rain a bit later, not right now. It was supposed to rain now, but it got moved out to later tonight. But honestly, I'm fine. If it was hot right now, I think that would be my 13th reason. So, perfectly happy with the weather. We've got our oysters, we've got our bubble. I'm very happy, I'm very happy. Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday. We are checking out of our hotel going to our paella class and then we're gonna head over to Ibiza. So let's go enjoy the day. Once again, I am in my American tourist bag. Um, we are by La Rambla and we're heading to La Boqueria um, Market to go do our paella cooking class. <laughs> in our wine shop to get a glass of cover and now we're going into the market to buy all of the seafood for the paella and then we're gonna cook it together. I'm feeling vibes on vibes I'm taking dynamite I blow your candle lights You know I'm just that vibe No, them no big kill my vibe Them no big kill my vibe No big kill, them no big kill Them no big kill my vibe Why is my set full of the stars? Your enemies, enemies shine If you don't depend on me, enter the light 
Cause you can never do my mind But there is no sacrifice Everything was taken You had to make it Vibe killer Me and no go take shit Vibe killer So we did a bit of an oil, uh, you're a tasting of truffle oil and truffle balsamic. I wanted to buy them, but I actually am not a good cook. Those things will just sit in my house. But they were so, so, so good. So smelling of saffron and Spanish paprika. And now we're tasting some Iberico ham. So this is, it's like really like organic. It's a special black hooved ham and pig that lives in the wild. Not in the wild, but like free, roams free, eats, um, what is it? No? Acorns. Acorns. Um, and then the meat is cured for five years. It is so good. It is so good. There's different levels of it and different purities of the breed, like 100% pure, 1780, which also determine the price. But in general, it is so, so, so good. I would take some, but I don't know about traveling with like actual cured meats. I don't know how strict they're gonna be. But like honestly, this is this is an experience. We haven't even started cooking yet, but even just tasting the food and getting all the ingredients for the paella, so good.
Okay, so that was our paella cooking class. It was very cute. We met some very nice friends from Colombia and America. And now we are heading to the airport to go to Ibiza. I'm so hot and tired. I feel like I've never been this sweaty before in my life. But that's also why I'm glad I didn't wear makeup today because we're going to be lugging suitcases all around. But we are on our way to the airport and let's go. Nothing has upset me more deeply than the Barcelona airport. Not only were the queues a mess, the self check in, self bag drop a mess, security a mess, switching our gates orientation that doesn't make sense i'm just i have so much alostro i can't even breathe let's just go to ibiza i just want to get to ibiza guys i just want to get to ibiza i'm tired just landed in Ibiza got into the hotel which has a beautiful poolside deck you can hear the music you can hear the vibes it's overlooking the ocean it's beachfront my mood has skyrocketed it's like that Barcelona airport never happened now. that Barcelona airport even the Ibiza airport just put us in the most foul mood but coming to the hotel I see why people love Ibiza so much I'm gonna come back here don't worry about me I'm coming back Anyways, this is the outfit for the day. This is this. I'm wearing this as a cover up, but it's actually a dress from Impreca that had it in the dress. And this bikini is from Shein. It has some detailing on the bum that you can't see, but I'll show maybe some other time. Um, this next few days are the only times you'll ever probably see me in a bikini, so be nice. It feels like a Malfi all over again. This is abs oh my gosh! Like I mean, I can even turn on the brightness now. Oh, guys, this is absolutely unreal. A dream come true. I'm so happy. Are you happy to be in Paris? Are you happy to be in Ibiza? Yes, I am Beyonce. I am happy to be in Ibiza. It's nine o'clock. It's like what is it? Past nine. Yeah, it's past nine. It's ten past nine. It's ten past nine. The sun is only sitting right now. It's ten past nine. Beautiful sunset. Pinks and oranges. Oh, God is too good. Feeling hella blessed. We wanted this vacation. We made it happen by ourselves, for ourselves. We said we wanted to go. We didn't wait for nobody. We just went, and we made it. We're here. We're here now. Ah, I thank God. I'm so happy. I'm so chuffed. Let me eat this pizza and go to sleep. And maybe a quick swim. I don't know. We'll see. Buenos dias mi amigas, we are in Ibiza and we are on our way to lunch at Cotton Beach Club. Just gotten ready, oh, I'll show you my outfit when we are there, but we are looking for a taxi. 
and we can't find one and we're almost late for our reservation so let's just hope we can find a taxi in the next five minutes but we're looking cute the girls are looking cute the girls are looking cute but yeah No, that was a very satisfying meal. We got some bread and so good. So warm and moist, some balsamic and olive oil. It's making me think of the truffle olive oil from the market yesterday and I'm like, I wish I bought some. And yeah, no, we're just, we're just vibing, looking at the stunning, stunning ocean and then we're gonna head to O Beach Club where we're gonna go for the rest of the day slash night and I'm very excited about that because we're gonna do a quick outfit change of room. Ah, 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 ah,
hot, hot, well, hot, well, it's so hot, 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 hot. Guys, we were trying to be responsible human beings and take a taxi home, but this. But old beach club is literally, literally like 500 meters. It's around the. This it's taxi the just did a. It did a U-turn, and then like a lift, and then yeah, we're at our hotel. The only reason it took us three minutes was because he went. He had to go the around the circle we instead of doing a illegal U-turn. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so emb we didn't even check. I'm we could have walked. We could have walked. Saved myself eight years because I had to give a big tip because this man drove for he nothing. <laughs> he drove for no reason because we were stupid, too stupid to check how far our hotel was. And now I'm dead. No, oh, dead, 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 dead. We're wrong. We're wrong. But oh, oh, Beach Club was so much fun. Now we're at home. The best time, so sexy and so fun. So sexy and, and fun and beautiful. And something I learned, I just tweeted this though, but it's like, it's not just the Americans who are thirsty. No, the Europeans the are Brits, very thirsty. The Germans. The Germans, the, the Polish, Spaniards, the Spaniards, the Portuguese. All of them are everybody is dying. Yeah. They're begging for it. They're dying for you say, oh, it. Caramel, caramel. Can oh, have some they call me queens. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Princess. Hola. Hola. They call me everything. Oh, they're dying for it. I fucking love it. Um, I want to swim though because we didn't swim at the beach club. So now we're back at the hotel We at the pool and maybe and because I didn't get to swim in this outfit I think I'm gonna swim here, but my batteries actually did on this camera So I'm gonna say to where to I'll check in to Mars when we go to Portugal and It's Afro Nation time, and I think that's gonna be a separate vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Love you loads Bye God is too good Look at this view, look at this sunset, look at the blessings. We've truly had a blessed and highly favored trip. Even the sec in um, O Beach Club was the best sec in the house in the shade on top of the DJ booth. Guys, God is too good. Are you nuts? I'm so grateful. We love to see it. <laughs>